It was over 20 years ago when visionary Naval Aviation Museum Foundation leaders determined that using aviation inspired missions and the thrill of flight could capture the love of learning and enhance skills in math and science, now termed STEM. It seems right that in this place of aviation innovation and heroism, ambition exists in Pensacola, Florida. From the time the Ambition Experimental Pilots walk through the doors, they are immersed in theatrically and scenically enhanced story. Grouped in squadrons, the AXPs traveling solo or in groups get to know their six-room bunkmates for the program. Under the careful watch of seasoned instructors, the AXPs immediately engage in 100,000 square feet of next-gen technology. The squadrons invest time with their chiefs and facilitators between the Joint Intelligence Center Joint Operations Center, and Simulator Bays. The AXPs, typically between the 7th and 12th grade with varying levels of math and science proficiency, dive deep into a world of inspired play. Well, it's different. I, I haven't really experienced technology like this as far as the simulators and, and the communication centers, but it's nice. My favorite part was the learning how to fly in uh, simulators and uh, never really did know anything about flying and stuff, but when I came here, I learned way more than I thought I would. It's huge, incredible technology. It's the whole CIS, you know, looking thing with the table and you just swish it around and everything's really great. I love the technology here. I enjoy seeing students of all abilities come in and because I work in the Joint Intelligence Center, being able to see them work hands-on with the math and actually grasp it. Some of them come from having poor math backgrounds, some of them are stellar in math, and seeing them work together and help each other to plan these missions and excel in the mathematics and the planning is just phenomenal by the end of the week to see the teamwork and confidence they have in that area. Ambition offers a solution for a national problem and there is nothing else like her in the world. The difference between what we're doing here and your average video game is we're still using a lot of the same technology. It's software, it's hardware, it's all that stuff behind the scenes. But what we expect you to do when you come on board as, as an AXP is we have activities and missions that are set up by uh, faculty at the University of West Florida. They're executed by certified educators and uh, program staff here with years of aerospace education experience to create an experience like really no one else has in the world. The simple five-step process represents hundreds of hours of collaboration between academics, creative, operational, and instructional teams. Teachers and professional development work alongside seasoned middle and high school math and science teachers and the occasional retired naval aviator, delivering major learning outcomes aligned with recognized 21st century National Common Core Standards. The hands-on immersive environment is speeding up the learning process. I work better when I use my hands, so I'm actually getting to experience and fly it instead of sitting there and learning how to fly it. Well, I'm learning how to fly it, but I'm getting to actually do it at the same time. We learn so much math and science that it's incorporated and it's fun. Like, I feel like I learn more in the JIC than I do at school. I'm, I'm not trying to down the schooling system, but I'm just saying the way they incorporate math and science into their lessons is amazing. I learned a lot about longitude and latitude and figuring out the degree angle than I ever thought I would. For myself, I'm more of a hands-on learning, you know, um, and so I, f I figure, I think that if I was in a, stuck in a book, I would not pick up the stuff. Um, from the first day, I've, I've um, excelled incredibly um, in all the skills that we're learning. Um, I've learned a lot of new stuff about aviation. When I grew up, I wanted to be a pilot, and so that's why I wanted to come here, um, and it has given me a whole new view on aviation. Ambition isn't just for kids. Corporations and groups of all sizes are utilizing Ambition for retreats, meetings, and workshops. Ambition's seasoned event planning team are the very best in creating extraordinary off-site occasions. Our corporate partners are investing in a new generation of smart kids and future innovators and leaders. Lisa Roman, Marketing Director for Breitling, talks about their commitment in educating the leaders of tomorrow. I'm very excited. I wish I was in 7th through 12th grade to come back and be able to do this. I think it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for students to really have that full submersion into this world so that they're actually 
planning the missions. They're using information in a much more practical way than they can just sitting in a classroom or at home on computer games. They're kind of taking everything that kids like to do. The National Flight Academy offers a suite of learning programs outside of ambition in the classroom, in the community, and in the home, inspiring and molding bright young minds through interactive and immersive experiences. Log on to nationalflightacademy.com to learn more. AXPs are learning to operate complex software and manipulate sophisticated devices which will help them compete for a place in the global workforce. But they are also gaining self-confidence, acquiring communication skills, and how to think critically and strategically, and the importance of teamwork, and most of all, how to lead. If I see someone that's weak in the team, then I make sure I talk to them, what do you need help with? Um, is it the hovering? Is it, you know, flying forward? Are you nervous with the stick? Anything. I make sure, you know, I make sure my team is very comfortable with everything. We, uh, we thought we wasn't as smart or as, as, like, mentally ready to do this or whatever. And we came in there thinking that it's going to be really hard. And then we came out thinking, wow, that wasn't that bad. This is pretty easy. Or not really easy, but fun and you get to learn about new stuff. At any point in time to be involved with a program that excites kids, not only about STEM education, science, technology, engineering, math, but to be, be able to instill core values in them and give them an opportunity to excel in life. Being involved with that kind of program is already exciting, but then to be in the next level of these kind of programs, I've had, I've had opportunity to work with some great legacy programs out there, but to be involved with what is basically the, uh, the stepping stone to the next generation is a dream come true for me.